Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Don't be mad at me. So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. Yeah. Hey, it happens. That was my ex. Perfectly understandable. Perfectly understandable. I guess I'd better tell you a little about it. Okay. Alright, 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 everyone. My name is Echo Tango, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Today's festival day, everyone, the Luau, so let's get right to it. Alright, weather report today. Okay, let's see. Going to be a clear, sunny day all day tomorrow. Wish it was raining, though. Okay, if spirits feel neutral today, the day is in your hands. Well, that's perfectly okay with us, because it's a, it's a festival day. And living off the land, what do you got for us? Starting tomorrow, an unusual amount of shells and corals are expected to wash up on beaches all around the world. I'm no scientist, but I've heard it's something you do to do with crab mating season. At any rate, you shall make some good coin combing your local beach. Alright, that sounds good to know. Let's head outside, get ready for today. Ooh, wow, got some mail here. And recycling machines are done. Dear Echo Tango, I saw an article about you in a local paper. It sounds like the country life is a good fit for you. I'm so proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love, Mom. Aw, oh, thanks, Mom. Oh, more mail. Hey, I found this in the drawer somewhere. Thought you could use it. Pam. Oh, we got beer. Oh, nice. Okay, thanks, Pam. Anyways, our uh, recy recycling machines actually produce some stuff, which is really nice. I also need to find a place to put this beer somewhere. I don't know where exactly. Might need to make a chest for artisan goods and cooking. I'm not sure. That preserves jar is still cooking. Anyways, we still got to do some watering. Oh, also, another thing. Um, for those of you guys... Oh, wow, look at that. One of the, one of the uh, oak trees uh, grew in. Anyways, for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm a pretty big fan of Terraria. And the Terraria 1.4 update is coming out on its ninth anniversary, May 16th, so do look so guys, do look forward to a series on that in the in the near future. I'm really looking forward to that as well. But anyways, we still have Stardew Valley, of course. So let me get these crops watered, and we'll go on to the festival. Alright guys, we have made it to the Luau. That's pretty awesome. So just like any other festival, there's no time, we can just take it as we go. We're gonna go ahead and talk with everyone here. So here's Mayor Lewis. Look sharp, the governor's here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure and add it to the soup cauldron. And just to let you know, we did exactly that. We brought a cauliflower, and this is what I'm going to be putting into the potluck just down here. I did, actually did a lot of research on this just to make sure I knew what I wanted to put in, and so this is what I decided to go with based on what I had at the time. So pot, so cauliflower it is, and here is the governor. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. It sure is, Mr. Governor, it sure is. I must speak to the missus about purchasing a vacation home here. Who's that? Is that Robin? Are you referring to Robin? Maybe you are. Well, I can put in a good word for you then. Hello, guys. This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? <laughs> I can't interact. Ow, you stepped on my foot, dear. Oh, by the way, if you hadn't heard already, the governor might want a vacation home out here. You never know. You never know. And look at Emily right here, rocking out. She's unresponsive because she's really grooving to the music. Hey, kids. Vincent isn't a good dancer. Oh, okay. I'm bored. <laughs> All right, well, you guys do your thing. There's Evelyn George out here to the quarter. That music is too loud. Can't I have a little peace and quiet and enjoy the ocean? I don't know. Hey, at least let the kids have their, have their fun. They, they, they deserve the best. Ah, the smell of the ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. Of course. It smells great, doesn't it? The ocean does smell pretty good. There's Haley and Alex out here. I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. Oh, of course. Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? Sure, sure, why not? There's Sebastian. One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. And how'd that turn out? Ever wondered why Sam leads the town in community service hours? <laughs> wow. Impressive, no doubt. Impressive. There's Abigail here on the docks. 
Oh, okay. closer, closer. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. You know, sometimes me too. Me too. Now, unfortunately, I can't do any fishing. I have my pole. I have my pole though, but can't do it. I would love to do some fishing. Oh, the wizard's here. I didn't know he comes out here. Hello, Mr. Wizard. I'm sorry I don't get to visit you often. The mer people are curious about your festivities. Oh, okay. They become upset when you litter into the ocean. Now that I can understand. We must respect our oceans. Is there anyone else here on the docks? Willie out here? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, of course there's Willie. Haha. <laughs> like, no, I was trying to say, I didn't know the wizard actually comes to this festival, but he does. Hi there, Echo Tango. Taking a breather? A little bit. To tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing right now. Guess what, Willie? Me too. Me too. I'd rather be fishing right now as well. I have my pole too, but can't use it. I'm al not allowed to use the pole out here. Let's see who else is around here. There's Shane. Hey, Shane. Doing all right? Wow, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. Wow. I didn't know that. Hello, Gus. These blasts of sand flies keep landing on the food. Dang, those sand flies, you know. Clint, I'm full, but what else there is there to do besides eat? To be honest, I don't know. Maybe why'd you, why'd you go... No, Clint, why'd you go socialize with people? Talk to people. Talk to Emily. I don't know. Jody, I hope the soup is good this year. Me too. Oh, and since we're at it, since we're here, let's go ahead and put it in. You add a cauliflower to the soup. Yeah, baby. Hey, Pam. Heh, <sighs> free buffet. One of the perks of living. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. I'm uh, doing my best, Pam. I'm doing my best. Hello, Marty. If you bought some, I mean, if you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. Well, I did. I did that already. Wait, I'm just wondering. Can I remove it? No. Okay, I can't remove it. But I already put it in, so it doesn't matter. Caroline, how are you doing? I put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. Well, good. Here, nice to see you. Hmm, maybe if I get on the governor's good side, he'll give my business a tax break. I wonder if, if he likes aged whiskey. I wonder too. Actually, no. I don't- have I ever wondered that? I'm not sure. But, that sounds like an interesting idea. Now, if only the mayor would stop schmoozing with him all afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, that, those two don't seem to leave each other's sides, do they? Huh. Interesting. Anyways, let's move on. Hello, Elliot. I woke up late, stepped out of the door, and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. Isn't it interesting living out on the beach like this? But I bet you love it still. I forgot that today was the loop. Well, oh, of course. And hello, Leah. Hello. How's the farming coming along? It must be a busy season for you. It really has. It really has. And man... <laughs> If I could tell you all sorts of stories from the farm. I don't really have a lot, but there are quite a few of them. But actually the stories really come out from outside the farm, you know, in the mines, fishing. Uh, you should have seen me when I caught that sturgeon yesterday. Oh, that was, that was something. That was definitely indeed. Maybe I could share some of those same experiences with you. I don't know. I don't know. But in time, we'll know. In time, we'll tell. Hello, Harvey. Good thing I came with sunscreen. Oh good. Maybe I should have done the same. I wonder if Maru could use some sunscreen on her shoulders. I don't know, maybe you should ask. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. <laughs> Let's go find out, what is he roasting? A slow, continuous rotation is key to achieving the perfect roast. Well, that's cool. Oh, Petty? We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. Mayor Lewis hopes it will get the governor on your good side. That's why he's so neurotic about the way the soup tastes. Yeah, I can see that. Nice view, huh? I prefer to look this way. You guys should look this way. It's nice view. I don't know. And Sam, how you doing? Governor, who cares? Why should I care about some random old guy? Well, then again, coming from the guy who has the most community service hours. Hmm. I wonder sometimes. I think this is the last guy, Marlin. We don't see him out here often. I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. It is, Marlin. It sure is. Nice to take a sit. It's nice to take and sit down here. Sit on this bench. I don't know. I don't think I can sit on this bench. Anyways, I think we've talked to everyone at this point. Let me just go one more round. I think you have to talk to Mayor Lewis to get this thing started. And just make sure I put yeah, I put the cauliflower in. Um I could have also chose to put that beer in I got from Pam, but I chose not to, I'm probably going to go ahead and 
Once I have the ability to age it, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a cask and age the beer. That would be really nice to give indeed. But anyways, it's now time to get this thing over with. Let's get this soup tasting! Should we move forward with a luau? The governor seems a little hungry. Yes! Let's start. Oh boy. I'm just gonna let you know guys, I'm kinda nervous about this. Even though I did my research, you never know what happens sometimes. Alright. Well folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Well, I sure hope not. Well, Governor, would you do this the honor of tasting the soup? Of course. I've been looking forward to this all year. Here he goes. And he tastes it. His reaction? It's good! Awesome! Ah, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Awesome! And now the mayor gives a taste. Mmm, tasty! You all did very well today. Now, who else wants some soup? Everyone does! Me too! Lula, the luau was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Time to head home. Alright guys. Now, we're just back here. Probably have some... put some stuff away here. Wait, what's this? I got cloth from the cycling machine? Wow, that's actually impressive. I need to hold on to that. Also, let me let me also check something else, and that's also artisan. I don't know. I need to make a chest for artisan goods. I haven't done that yet. We do have a little bit of time for me to get some wood. I probably will probably get some wood and make a chest to put some artisan goods in there. Uh, anyways, but yeah, I didn't expect to get cloth from soggy newspaper, actually. Anyways, I'm just going to do the usual chores. Everything I just said I would do. We'll see how we did for the day. Or just move on if we didn't do that good. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, Emily. Nice to see you here. Hi, Okatango. Good morning. Well, good morning to you too, Emily. I didn't expect to see you out here. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Thanks. Thanks, that, re that really means a lot, Emily, actually. So, you've been here a while, and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? Okay, first of all, how did you know that? I oh, And I didn't get it from a Louvre, I got it from a recycling machine. I'm scared. I'm really scared now, because you know that. But okay. Well, did you know that you can use cloth and tailor all I mean, to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to a sewing machine. And I happen to have one at home. Feel free to swing by and use it any time. Oh, well thanks. You can now access Emily's sewing machine. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'll be doing it in this episode, but I might, you know, I might just go run down there and see what happens, or just show it to you guys. The start tailoring. You need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Experiment and, and see what unique styles are out there. Okay, well, we'll do that. Well, thanks for letting me know, Emily. That's quite interesting. She actually come by, come by my house and let me know. Well, I know a couple of recipes. I thought I'd send you one. Maybe I'll help you take. Uh, maybe I'll help you mine more ore or something. Take care, Clint. Well, thanks, Clint. New cooking recipe: algae soup. That's pretty cool. Oh, more mail. Dear Echo Tanya, I'd like to share an old cooking recipe my pappy used to make. It's important to, that the fish is fresh from Willie. New cooking recipe: chowder. Holy cow! I'm getting hearts with everyone. Let me see how we're doing. Let's see. Oh, yes! Four hearts with Leo. Well, we actually gotta go down. I gotta go down and visit her. Holy cow. I need, still need to give her gifts. Got three hearts with Willy. Oh, man. We are making some good progress, let me tell you guys. We're making good progress. That Luau helped us out. It really helped us out. Still not a whole lot with the wizard, because we barely ever talked to him. And then Dwarf, well, we can't really gain any points with him if you don't know his language. I'd like to share you that. Anyways, as usual, just normal farm chores as... And then we'll see how we do. Or... Dang it. I really don't know where, I, where my mind is today. There's been a lot going on. So I'm going to be saying some stuff or I'm going to have trouble saying some stuff. It happens. But anyways, like I was saying, farm chores as usual and we'll see what happens next. Oh. I have a scene. I was actually going into Pierre's just to get some uh, seeds, but we have a scene. Okay, cool. I just appear at Abigail's room like this, but 
Okay. I'll just accept anything at this point now. Echo Tango? Yep, it's me. I don't know why I'm here, but I'm here. You scared me, sneaking into my room like that. Sorry, Abigail, it was unintentional. <sighs> so I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours, and I can't even beat the first level. Hey, I could even beat the first level when I first tried. This game is ridiculously hard. I know how it feels to play some ridiculously hard games. Yeah. Ever tried... Ever, ever tried Twerry Calamity Revengeance? Yep, that was... that's kinda hard. In some respects. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that entirely. <laughs> hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Sure, why not? I'll be happy to help you out. I just can't remember the controls. What are the controls again? It's been a while. I I remember I remember showing it with you a little bit. Oh, okay. Come on, let's do this. Oh, here they come! Look at us! Look at us! Well, oh, look at us! Oh, I missed a coin, didn't I? Halfway done! Yeah, we are! Hey, we're doing pretty good! If it's the two of us, we could do a lot of things together, you know? We can beat these baddies! Come on, let's do it! Oh no, she got killed! I know how it feels sometimes. Almost there! We got it! Almost there! Wait, oh jeez. Oof! Right at the end there. We Oh, we both died together! <laughs> That's actually really funny. We, we were so close. We, we were really close there, actually. Hey, we did it! Yes! <laughs> That's pretty awesome, isn't it, Abigail? Pretty awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, that was fun. That was. Well, thanks, Echo Tango. You seem to really know your way around a joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. Well, quite literally, actually. I am playing on a keyboard. It's different from a joystick, but still, you get the idea. Anyways, and hello, Abigail. Say hi again. I kind of wish I had a cat. Unfortunately, my dad is allergic to pretty much everything. Oh, that's kind of sad. Anyways, Pierre, I'm here to buy some seeds, got some flowers I want. Oh, hi, are you satisfied with this quality of my summer seeds? I sure am. You're doing just fine. Anyways, I would like to get another summer spangle and another poppy, and we're going to go ahead and plant those. So yeah, pretty cool. Oh, also, I'm going to go ahead and say hi to your mom. I, haven't, I don't think I've said hi to Caroline in a while, other than at the, um, the luau. It's a fine-looking day. You know what? It sure is, Caroline. It's a fine-looking day. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. Oh, that's nice. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. Oh, I bet. I respect your elders. Harvey's in store today. I don't get to say hi to this guy as much as, as I should. This stuff can definitely be incorporated into a healthy diet. This stuff can... Oh, you already said that. It's actually interesting. I haven't been to his clinic. Ever. But anyways, I'm gonna get these seeds in the ground, and we'll see what happens next. Oh, actually, I should have two hearts with Marty right now. So I should be able to get some shorts. Hey, Marty! I'm gonna say hi to you. I'm gonna come around back. You can catch me at the saloon most nights. Of course. Animals are great company, but I need to spend some time with people, too. Oh, of course. Anyways, I should be able to access your room now. Oh, yes! I've accessed the shorts. You found a lucky purple shorts. Better return it to Lewis. Alright, well... We did see him over in town, but... I want to go run by to see if I can say hi to my good friend, Leah. I hope she's in. I really hope she's in. Ooh. Kel. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. You know, I think this is the first time I've actually seen her angry. Holy cow. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Man. I'm pretty mad. It'd be that way sometimes. Echo Tango! 
Sorry, I kind of barged in like that. Don't be mad at me. So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. Yeah. Hey, it happens. That was my ex. Perfectly understandable. Perfectly understandable. I guess I'd better tell you a little about it. Okay. We had an apartment together, back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. He was always nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine. Something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life. You know, a house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of thing. A standard life, I guess. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Echo Tango. I had to leave. So I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. Was that selfish of the Echo Tango? Hmm. This one kind of needs a little bit of thinking about it. Because we don't really know Kel's perspective as well. Because I don't know if he was trying to force her to stay behind. I mean, he was persuading her. Right? But she wouldn't have it. I mean, there was definitely good... I mean, Kel probably had good intentions about all this. But if he was too forceful... Well, obviously, that would definitely set Leah off, right? So, let's see here. Okay. No, it had to be done. No, and your ex sounds like an idiot. No, but you would have... You would have been better off staying in the city. Yeah, a little. Or yeah, but it's natural to care about yourself first. See, ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know about this one, man. I don't. Jeez. I'm really edge casing right now on no, it had to be done. Because if Kel was very forceful about this and she and he didn't respect Leah's opinion on this, then it had to be done. So let's go ahead and assume that, because I know Leah has great intentions, and I really like her as a character and a person. And who she is and what she does. No, it had to be done. You're right. I just wouldn't have been happy back there. It was better for both of us. To end an unsustainable relationship while we were still young and flexible. See? You understand. Anyway, I've been thinking a little more about that art show you, idea you had. I'm working on some new sculptures to display at the show. I'm nervous, but the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with Angus Valley Valley premier art destination, Echo Tanga. I am. I really want to see you take off. I want to see all my friends take off. Especially you, Leah. I hate to be blunt, but if we don't treat nature with respect, our grandchildren will be doomed. We've had this conversation before. Don't you think so? I do. Now anyways, Leah, I'm here because I want to give you something. I haven't given you a gift in a while, and I think you deserve it. This is a really nice gift, thank you. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm really glad you enjoy it. Anyways, since we're on our way up to town again, and since we're actually going to be passing by Emily's house, let's go ahead and take a look at that loom she was talking about. Let's see here. Hey Emily, thanks for letting me know about your loom. If I wasn't so busy, I'd come to help you on the farm. Oh, well thank you. <laughs> but Gus would, would be upset if I had another job. Oh, okay. That's understandable. Anyways, let me see what you... So this is the lube you have. Oh, okay. So place cloth or dyeable clothing in the feed and materials in the spool to begin tailoring. Okay. So... Interesting. You could actually do something with these local Lucky Purple Shorts and the cloth that I have. But I'm not gonna do anything. Because I don't have the lube... I don't have the cloth with me right now. But, yeah, cloth right there, and literally any item, like this fiber, for example, fiber, for example, can go in there. Or this wood can go in here. Or even the purple shorts can go in here, too, I think. Yeah, it can. Don't have the cloth with me right now, and I don't plan to make any clothes at the moment. But I just wanted to show you that's what you can do. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, now. Oh, actually, let me go ahead and clear out your weeds for you. This has kind of been bothering me. <laughs> Come on, clear, cut. Clear cut. Clearing all of it. Mayor, are you still here? He's not there. George spends the whole day in the front of the darn television set. 
I wish he'd go outside more. Some fresh air would do him good. It would, I guess. Anyways, now he could be in the saloon. He could be. I don't know if he is. Oh, holy cow! Cutscene after cutscene, guys! Oh, hello there, buddy. Hey, guess. You seem nervous about something, or saddened by something. <sighs> I'm just looking over last month's earnings, and it's not looking very good, Echo Tango. The worst thing, and I hate to say this, because she's my friend, is Pam. She hasn't paid off her tab in weeks. But I can't ask her to do it. I know she'll get defensive, but I don't want to hurt her feelings. Hey, that's perfectly understandable. Echo Tango, you gotta help me. Oh, there's Pam right now. Hiya. Guts, I'm awful thirsty if you catch my drift. Uh, well, okay, Pam. Echo Tango, what's going on here? Okay, another option. You need to pay your tab right now, or the saloon isn't doing well financially. Well, let's tell her the truth. The saloon isn't doing well financially. It isn't? That's terrible. Oh. She's not happy about it. <sighs> well, I guess I better pay off that tab then. Thanks, Pam. And thank you, Echo Tango. Now let's get you that drink, Pam. <laughs> well, it all worked out. All worked out mighty well. I'm gonna say hi to Gus. I'm still looking for Mayor Lewis. You know where he is? Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. It has. It's not even night yet. It is a Friday night, though, but... Mm, okay. Cool. I wonder where Mayor Lewis could be. I know he'll come by here. I know that for sure. Uh, he could be in the ha he could be in the house. Let's go find him. He is not in the house. All right. Well, I definitely will be visiting the saloon a lot later. So, anyways, let's go down to the beach. I did hear that there's gonna be a lot of shells around here. A lot of good stuff around this time. Oh wow! Oh wow! Look at that. And is it me, or is the sea? Is this sea really green today? It, re it looks really green, doesn't it? Huh, interesting. We got some worms. Ooh. Now that's something new. A trilobite, so we can definitely donate that to the museum. Which I won't do until a lot later. When I have a lot- when I have a few more things on my hand to donate at once. Uh, that's something I've, I've always planned to do. So yep, yeah, look at that. A lot of coral. A lot of good looking coral. That's pretty good. But anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and fish out here in the ocean, and then we'll go ahead and see Mary Lewis. Hey, look, everyone's in town. Hey, Sebastian. Oh, hey. Yawn. Sam. You know, I used to live in the city, and I have to admit, this place is much nicer in the summer. Oh, that's nice. The city is so hot with all that concrete. Oh, of course. Oh, hello, Mr. Mayor Lewis. You found them. Oh, wow, I just gave it to him immediately. Where? Oh, um, <laughs> and funny thing is Marty is right next to you. There? I have no idea how they could have gotten there. <laughs> this stays between you and me. Got it? All right, I got it. Well, at least I delivered things to you. Marty doesn't seem to notice that you're there. And okay, yeah, Leah and I already had her talk. Good talk. That was a good talk. Let's go say hi to everyone. Elliot? Echo Tango, you look puzzled. I guess the hot summer air can make us a little dizzy. Sure can sometimes. Hey, Pam. Oi, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. Here you spoke. Gus, this has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. And if now this time it really is tonight. And Emily and I already spoke. Let's see who else. Did we, spoke, did we speak with Willie? Did we speak with Pierre? I can't remember. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. Sure, of course. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. It sure does, doesn't it? The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay in the shop year-round. Depressing, huh? I don't know. I don't know, man. Hey, Shane, you know alright? What's the point of life if all you do is work? <sighs> There's a lot to life. Work is just a part of it, Shane. In time, you'll be able to play some, too. Don't worry. Work will come, and play will come as well. 
Anyways, I've done what I wanted to do today, so I think we're gonna go ahead and call it night, and possibly even see how we did today. Oh, awesome, guys! Level 5 foraging. I've been really meaning to level up. Holy cow. So we got Forester. Trees drop 25% more wood or gatherer. Chance for double harvest of forage items. You know, this has actually been something that I've had to think about a lot whenever I got to this point. And now we're at this point. And, I mean, Forester does sound really good. It does. Because I can get more wood in the long run. But gatherer... Chance for double harvest of forage items, plus level 10 for if you go along the gatherer path is actually really good. So, and also means more profits too. So I, re I really wanted that more wood, but I think I'm going to have to go with gather. Alright, so look at how we did today. Actually got some crops because they grew in today. So we got some tomatoes, hot peppers, and hops too. And hops actually produce every day once they initially produce. And tomatoes will be, we'll have to put one in the community center. Uh, so that's that. A little bit money from, also made some money from foraging. Not a whole lot. Well, actually, it is kind of a lot. And then, of course, fishing. Hmm, interesting stuff.